Hi! Legacy Family Tree 8 continues to lead the way in helping you organize, find, and share your family tree. We've added some enhancements that you will definitely notice. Let's take a look. First up, Legacy 8 will help you see where you came from and the percentage of blood you have from your countries of origin with the new Origins Report. Looks like I'm about 40% English, 25% American, and 24% Danish. I've even got a little Canadian blood in me to compliment my wife. Next, see how far and wide a person's descendants spread out in the world with the new Migration Report, found on the new Reports panel under Other Reports. Here, you can view this as a list or as a bar chart. Looks like Minnesota was the most popular destination, but he did have one descendant born in South Africa. Wow! Legacy 8 takes documenting your sources to the next level. For the first time, Legacy optionally includes citations on a pedigree chart. Now it's easier than ever to see which sources have built your tree. Legacy 8's new source quality settings lets you record the quality of each source as you attempt to prove your conclusions. You can now even print source labels to attach to the top of your documents. The source clipboard has also been expanded to load up to five different citations that can be assigned at the click of a button. Next up, Legacy 8's enhanced mapping animates the ancestors' movement through time. Watch how they migrated from place to place, pause and resume the animation, or click on any location to view it. View their migration in street, aerial, or 3D modes. Hover over the balloons to see what happened in each location. New in 8, as you're adding in new individuals to your tree, Legacy instantly checks to see if perhaps they are already in your family file, helping you avoid inadvertently adding duplicates. My personal favorite is the potential problem alerts. The warning symbol is displayed immediately next to information or a person that contains a problem. Unusual gaps of time are detected that you may not have previously noticed, like too many years between the births of the children. Look here, Samuel was born in 1835. The next child, William, was born six years later. There's room for the births of two additional children here that may have been missed. With these new alerts, typos, and accidental misinterpretation of data are a thing of the past. Sharing or downloading incorrect information will be eliminated. Legacy's popular color coding system has also been expanded. You can now color code from two starting points, like one for you and one for your spouse. One of Legacy 8's best new features is the ability to share an event. No more need to manually copy and paste an event from one person to another. Just click the Share button and select the others that participated in the same event. And click Select. You can even specify each person's role in the event. Legacy now optionally interfaces with Family Search's family tree. Search the tree for new leads. Contribute your information or even download information that fills in your gaps. Legacy monitors the family tree for any new updates. Two new charts liven up any wall. The family bowtie chart displays the ancestors of both the husband and wife as well as their children. The descendant chart is also now available in left to right formatting. Also duplicate lines can now be removed. Legacy 8 comes packed with dozens of other enhancements like the expanded chronology view where you can include five generations at once and the enhanced user interface. See more statistics view up to nine tags, auto-sort the children, marriages, and events, easily relink missing media, add custom toolbar buttons, geocode your addresses, and much more. 
Welcome to the new and enhanced Legacy Family Tree.